Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois for those of you who don't know me. If it's your first time here, then warm warm welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, thank you for coming back and spending some time with your girl and Tigger to see what we've got in store for you today. Now guys, today, 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 we've got a crazy cat trying to get her tail burnt by the candle. Yep. This is, this is why. Guys, when you say to me, oh, have Tigger, have Tigger, have Tigger, have Tigger, you don't have to pop up with the shenanigans. Take a seat, young lady, please. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, today I've got a mixed collective haul for you. And basically, it's little bits of things that I've picked up along the way that are not all from the same shop, but are too small to do one haul. So I put them all together and do a collective. So guys, if you like the kind of thing in terms of hauls and um, fashion and interior design and crazy cats and crazy cat lady, I'm your girl. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Put on your notifications button. Give us a big thumbs up and show us that you like the video because the more the thumbs up I get, the more that YouTube thinks, oh, you must have liked the video then. Yeah. So guys, before we get into it, let me do candle of the day. And my candle of the day, guys, is a big one, but it's absolutely beautiful for the season that we're in. Lovely hot summer days, lazy summer days. And this is papaya and coconut. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, this is from um, DW Homes. And I think I think I featured this maybe nearly a year ago um, when I'd done a haul then. If I can find it, I'll link it for more details. But this is beautiful. Beautiful light scent. Look at the colour. Mm, that's my candle of the day. Now, guys, I don't want to say it, but I'm a little bit nervous with this candle of the day, especially with her being here. Yeah, a little bit. But let's see how it goes. So, guys, let's get into the haul. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do it like shop by shop by shop, because then I think it will be easier to show you the things that way. And that way, yeah, um, you won't get confused as to where I got them from. So, first of all, I wanted to show you this. And it's a pink stuff bundle. Now, guys, in here, you've got a medium brush head. You've got a large brush head. Then you've got the firm cone brush head. And then you've got the soft brush head. And you've also got two pots of the pink stuff as well to use. So when I saw this, I thought, oh. I remember I saw it like, Maybe about six months ago. And then I totally missed out on it. And when I went back and saw this, they had it in the bundle. So I was well chuffed. Because last time you was only getting two brushes. But this time you've got four different brush heads in there to suit all your cleaning needs. And guys, I must say, I do like the pink stuff. I used it quite recently when I was cleaning out um, something at work. And this worked a treat. Now I've got the brush set to match it. I'm well chuffed. This was came from B&M. I think it was around the 11, 12 pounds mark in B&M, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the whole set. I like when things are in sets, do you know what I mean? And this is called the Miracle Scrubber Set. Dodgy name, Scrubber Set? It's a Scrubber Set. That's what it is. But guys, that's um, the Pink Stuff Scrubber Set from B&M. Right, now, moving forwards... I'm moving across to Aldi. So we're driving the car down the road and we're now going to Aldi. <laughs> so guys, I got this lovely, beautiful desk lamp. And this is from Aldi. And um, you know what, guys? I just love dim lighting. I love it. I love the ambience of low light settings. Not all the time you want, the, you know, the big over overhead lighting. I do love ambience. And this one is in a gold finish. And it's like a black smoke quartz glass. And that is gorgeous. Now, with these ones, they do take the lower wattage bulbs. So you have to buy the what You don't have to, but you can actually get the bulbs from um, Ikea as opposed to any other store. So, yeah, they do the bulbs there. So I got this. I cut the price. Oh, my gosh. 
The price for this, guys, is around the £12 mark, £15 mark, I think it was. But this is gorgeous. And that's from Ikea. Yep. Yeah. Let's move it along a little bit. Right, we're driving the car now and we're going to stop off in Aldi. Yep, yeah, we're going to stop off in Aldi. So, guys, I was really chuffed when I saw this. Now, this is an acacia wood serving tray. Now, am I holding the right way? Yep, that's the right way. And, guys, you know the autumn is pretty much on its way. But I saw this, you know, weeks ago. And they still got some. I've seen them. But I thought, let me pick it up. Now, this was around, I think it was the £7 mark. I can't be sure, guys, don't quote me. Between £7 and £10 this was. But this is a beautiful serving tray. And it's the shape of a leaf. How beautiful is that? Fitting for the autumn months that are coming up. Not that we're buying for autumn, mind you. But I just always wanted one. Because last year, guys, I tried to get one of these in... Um, Home sense. I searched the place high and low. I was online. I was going to stores every week because I really, really wanted one. So when I saw it this year, I was so chuffed, really chuffed. And that's your Acacia serving board. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Also, while I was in there, I saw this and I was well chuffed. So that's the front of it. And if I turn it that way, I'll show you what it is. It's a tea chest. And if I show you the picture up front, there you put all your various tea bags in there and all different items. And it's actually called a tea box. So let me see if I can take this bit off. This plastic bit. And then I can actually show you inside the tea box itself. And you can get a good look inside. So yeah, I've got the label off, which is all stuck there. And that's what a tea box looks like from, from the outside. It looks like that. Yeah, you can see my ceiling, ceiling rose. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Shall I put it there? Maybe, yeah, that way it doesn't disturb you so much. So there's the glass in there. And if I open it at the front, so it's got a little clasp. You open it and there you go. There's your little tea box. So like, I like Tetley tea. So I'll have Tetley in one. I might have PG in the other. I'll have my Sorrel tea in the other one. That's like a Caribbean tea. Um, or you might know it has hibiscus. We call it sorrel tea. And then I might have uh, peppermint in the other one. And then I might have like a coconut tea that I've got. Yeah, guys, six different varieties of teas you can have in there. But um, yeah, that's your tea chest. And this was around the £10 mark. But I do love the idea of the tea chest. I do love it. I think it's so, so cute. And that is from... Uh, where was that from? Aldi? Yeah, that's Aldi. Yeah, that's from Aldi. So we're sticking... Are we sticking in Aldi? Or have we gone to Lidl? I think we're sticking in... We're sticking in Aldi. Yeah. So also what I saw in there was... Uh, oh, I'm so confused, guys, by the shops. It's Aldi? I think this one is Aldi. <laughs> I'm so confused. You know what, guys? We're either in Aldi or we're in Lidl. One of them. Um, yeah, I saw this beautiful candle and this one is called the Pet Lover's Candle. And this says helps to fight pet odours and a citrus and orange blossom. But guys, when I, whenever I see things that says help to fight pet odour, I think they, they don't smell very nice. But this one smells gorgeous. This is so, so, oh, this is really, really nice. You would never think this is for pet odours. It's got a lovely, fresh citrus, but also mixed with the orange. It is so nice. That was coming in at, I think it was uh, $2.99 for that one. That is nice. That is really, really nice. I'm really chuffed with that. And it's called Pet Lover Citrus and Orange Blossom. They had quite a few there of different um, colours. They had one in blue and they had one in another sort of cerise colour. I think all different um, sort of scents for pets but the great thing about it guys if you've got pets like this little one here sleeping next to me yep this little she's gone to sleep now take her hello are you coming are you coming to say hello you coming to say hello now she's like i can't be bothered i'll just sit here and uh go to sleep on your lap oh, okay here she comes 
So when you've got little pets around, it's really nice that you can actually get things that are quite pet friendly as well. So the fact this candle is pet friendly, um, I'm loving the idea. Yeah. So moving forwards, and yeah, you can go back to sleep now. Sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> I got this now. I love the idea, especially when you like making mocktails or your cocktails, or you're making your little fruit punch and you're in the garden having a little bit of a evening drink in the sun. Um, these are your lemon sliced trays. So if you've sliced up fresh lemon and you want to keep them fresh, these are good to keep them in your little trays out, outside and that way they're kept fresh and, and sealed as well. And you get two um, trays in the pack and I think the pack was about 3 99 for that. So that was from Aldi, I think it was. I think that was from Aldi, this one. Yeah. So I'm loving that. Yeah, Aldi Summer. Yeah, Aldi Salas. Aldi. Oh, God. Aldi Summer Celebration. That's what it says <laughs> on the pack. So yeah, we're in the right shop. We're still in the Aldi, guys. This is where I got that from. And you get two in there as well. So that's a great idea, guys, to keep your lemons all fresh, you know, if you're outside. And you can, think, you can see I've got a thing about dried up lemons because we use a lot of lemons in our house because sometimes we make like lemon um, like lemon mixture and stuff like that where you do your fresh lemons, your honey and, and your ginger and stuff like that. And sometimes you cut half a lemon. So if you're washing some meat or some fish, you cut half a lemon to squeeze it out and then you've got the other half just sitting there. And I'd, I hate that. So I said to myself, I need to sort it out and get myself a little lemon container as well. So yeah, when you cut your half a lemon and you've got this left, you just put it in there, it seals it. It's called a lemon storage pod. Love it. I like little things like this because then you know where your stuff are, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, that was around $3.99 as well, guys, for that one. And driving down the road now, I think we're going to Little, I think. I think we're in Little already. I hope we're in Little, or are we? Yeah, we're in Little. <laughs> Because I saw this. I love the idea, guys. This is your Ernesto multi pan lid. Now, this, if you've got, now we all got pots, guys, where we can't find the darn lids for it, or the lid may have cracked, or the top may have been broken, you know, the handle bit of it, whatever, and we still need to cover certain pots. So, this is a multi function pan lid, and it can cover different pans. So this covers a 24 centimeter pan, it covers a 26 centimeter pan, and it covers a 28 centimeter pan. And if you're thinking to yourself, Lois, how does that work? If you look at the edges here, you can see where it will fit on. Oh, let me turn it around, that might be the better way to see it. If you look on the edges, the three edges, each pan, so that's 24, that'd be your 26, and that'd be your 28 edging, the rim. Let me turn it around properly so you can see it. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. So can you see the three lines there? Guys, excuse my nails. Yeah, it's in one and days. If you can see the three rims, each rim represents the size I just told you about. And you place your lid on top of it and it should seal it in whichever way or whichever size pot you're using. And that's how it's multi-purpose. What a genius idea on my days. Save you buying all 10, 20, 30, 40 lids, do you know what I mean? So, I'm uh, not that you're going to buy that much, but you know, you know what I'm saying, guys, don't you? Your pan is not obsolete if your lid is damaged. You can get a multi-purpose lid to put on your pans. So, yeah. So, we've driven down the road and we're now going to stop off in Poundland. So, um, guys, I saw this in Poundland and this is your... <laughs> Was it Poundland? Oh, well done. I think I'm in the wrong shop, you know. I'm so sorry, guys. No. This is, was it Poundland? Guys, I'm sorry, my daughter bought this for me. And she said, Mum, I saw this and I thought of you. <laughs> a watermelon candle, but it's actually a citronella candle for outdoor use. Now, I think she got this in, I think it was Aldi. Yeah, I think this was Aldi, guys. So we haven't driven down the road and gone to another shop. We're still in Aldi or we're still in Lidl. We're still somewhere. But anyway, she brought me this watermelon candle and I thought, then she rang me, she said, Mum, guess what? I said, what? She said, I've seen a watermelon candle. Shall I get it? I said, well, you know, I've got a lot of candles already. I said, but what did you say watermelon? She goes, watermelon. I said, all right, then get it for me. It doesn't smell of much, guys, but it's not, it's not the smell I'm all bothered. I just like the fact it looks like a watermelon. I love it. And it's good for outdoor use. Keep away the darn flies from your food. Yeah, 
loving it loving it loving it don't know the price of it i don't suspect it's more than the fiver but my daughter bought me that a watermelon citronella candle yes i'm loving that so the shop we are definitely in now is um oh no sorry i've got to show you something poundland another citronella box now this is a, a wooden incense box now i don't really like incense guys if i'm being honest um i used to burn incense back in the day but now i'm just i'd rather a uh, you know a wax tar or a rather a candle but when i saw this box i thought it was really cute so i'm probably not going to use the incense i'm going to throw it out i'm just going to use the um tea lights in the box or put the tea lights on top so if you're outside so i've got some citronella tea light tea lights so i'm going to use that on this but i like the box i just like the darn box and that was a pound in poundland that actually contains five incense sticks so if you like incense sticks guys and you want something you know to burn outside to keep away you know the repellents and stuff like repellents repellent no not repellent what am i talking about to keep away the rodents ah <laughs> That will repel them. That's what I meant. That will repel. Th <sighs> sometimes I don't I don't know where I got myself from. I really don't. I run sometimes I don't know where I got myself from. But anyway, guys, that's the box. <laughs> the citronella wooden incense box for a pound in Poundland. And it contain it contains the, the sticks. So let's just get this over here. So now I am in Aldi, I think. I'm definitely in Aldi. And I picked up a few things, just personal items. And I was really chuffed to just try them. So I thought I'd show them to you. Um, now this, I picked up some star drops. And that is a tropical sunrise fruity concentrated disinfectant. Now I haven't tried this before, but I just like the look of it. So I thought, let me try it. That's quite nice quite fresh quite fruity and it is a concentrate white so small but i just thought i would try that so i picked up that and it's your fruity tropical sunrise disinfectant that was about a pound 20 guys for that one but while i was caught going along that i just hold it other little bits and pieces and i thought oh let me try that so i am loving this it's a lacura vibrating quartz roller now i have been interested in getting a quartz roller and i love the rose gold one when i saw this in the rose gold i thought because <gasps> because guys, guys you know you know i've talked about it majority of this year that i'm really trying to look after myself trying to be more health conscious and trying to look after myself inside and out and when i saw this i thought lois i could do a bit of rolling you know try and get rid of these things yeah and all that so you do a bit of rolling and when i saw that i thought oh. so inside there it's got um two heads yeah it's got two if i take the paper out and show you it's got two heads and there they are it's two heads of the quartz roller and you also get a battery in there as well so because it's a vibrating one so yeah i thought i'd try that out guys and that's um should i take it out of the box for you guys that would be better for me to take out the box wouldn't it? that's how big it is so it's quite a size guys quite a size i really love it though in the rose gold that's really really nice and um yeah that came in at around 12 pounds for that um and it's something I want to introduce into my routine. I mean, I had an ordinary one before. I, I think I bought it pre-marked some time ago. It's just an ordinary one. But this is a vibrating one. That's the difference, guys. A vibrating one. So I really want to try and hopefully it will make a difference. And you guys say, Lois, you're looking young. <laughs> I'm trying. Also, what I saw in there is this Lacura Original Hot Cloth Cleanser. And I thought to myself, there's some days you really have had a day where you feel like you've had the heck dragged out of you and you just want to do a hot cloth sort of cleanse for your face a little treatment and when i saw this i thought yeah I'll let me just try it because you actually get the um the cleanser in there also with a muslin cloth and it says it's for all skin types and it's dermatologically tested vegan friendly and it says skincare with cocoa butter and eucalyptus oil and extracts of chamomile rosemary and white tea doesn't that sound nice it's a lot of things, guys, but gosh, anything to um try and help myself along a little bit. 
So, um, yeah, you get like the cleanser. If I... Now, I've never tried this before, guys. It's my first time trying it. So, I, I can't say I'm recommending it. I'm just showing you what I've bought. So, I'm going to try it. So, that's your, um, your cleanser. That's the size of it. And that's a 200 ml bottle. And then you get your actual muslin cloths as well to do your hot facial cleanse. So that's what you get in there. You get the actual cleanser and the muslin cloth as well. So yeah, your girl's going to try that. Now, what I have tried before from there is the Lacora Healthy Glow Rose Oil. Um, I do like it. And this is my second um, little jar of it. And um, yeah, I do. I do like that. I, don't, I must admit, I'm not a... Some days I do forget, guys. You know, sometimes you just forget. But when I do do a little special routine of a weekend, yeah, I do like that. So this is my second purchase of that. And just to show you what the bottle looks like, in case you're wondering, what does it look like, Lo? I'll show you. Lo will show you. Isn't that cute? Now, I love when my items look cute because it's just like, you feel all like you're pamperishing yourself. Do you know, pamperishing? You feel like you're pampering. Yeah, it feels pamperish. Like you're pampering yourself. Look at that beautiful bottle. I love it. Isn't that cute? So that's your um, Lacura Healthy Glow Rose Oil. And just to show you the box, that's the box that comes in, guys. So in case you're going and looking for it, that's what the box looks like, all right? Lovely. Also, what I saw in there, and I thought, oh, I'm going to try this. Because normally I use um, Elemis um, Micellar Water. And I thought, well, I haven't got Elemis money right now. So let me quickly have something. I'm running out. Until I buy my next Elemis bottle, I thought I'd try this micellar water. And this is Lacura micellar water. Um, it looks pretty good. It's for sensitive skin. They've got different types. But this one particularly, the pink label, is for sensitive skin. And it says, no perfume, no alcohol, gentle formation. Formation. Gentle formulation guys this is what happens when you do a haul when you're half daquered i should have done a haul first thing in the morning i wouldn't know what i'm talking about i wouldn't be misreading my words and i probably need some glasses that's my micellar water <laughs> and that was about 3.99 for that guys it's a big bottle though it's a 400 ml bottle so i'm keen to try that and if i like this i might stick with this one rather than the elements i mean i've got no problem with elements i love elements but it's the price difference is, is very, very different. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your micellar water by Lacura. And my final thing I picked up in there was this massage brush. And this massage brush is just for, you know, when you're in the bath or shower. And it says body, body made from high quality beech wood. Oh, so what they're saying is the body of the brush is made from high quality beech wood. I really need my glasses, guys. It's really getting bad now. <laughs> Your girl's getting old. So yeah, this is a massage brush. And again, it's for the cellular, you know, your skin. And just try to get rid of dead skin and keep yourself um, turning over fresh and rejuvenating your skin. So yeah, that's what I picked up in Aldi. That brush is about four pounds, I think it was, roughly. And um, yeah, guys, so that is my haul. Um, it's a mixture of stuff. As you can see, it wasn't any particular thing, but I thought I'd show you my little bits and pieces that I picked up and uh, maybe it might give you some ideas or some inspiration or things that you could possibly need or utilise in your home. So, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, thank you for staying with me and watching. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Also, put a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so that it can get filtered around. And, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do, guys. Join the family. Be part of the family. When you put on your notifications, you'll know when I've uploaded a video and you'll be able to see everything that's been put out there. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Bye-bye from me. And it's bye-bye from little Tigger, who's fast asleep. Yeah. So I'm not going to wake her, guys. Sometimes don't wait. Don't wait. The, the, yeah. If you've got peace and quiet in your house, don't, don't erupt the volcano. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye. Can you hear her snoring? Can you hear it? Tigger. Tigger. <laughs> See, now she, now she knows 
that I'm going to get up. She's going to get up as well. You okay then, missus?